Welcome to the Turkish Delight Show with your girl Turkish Delight, Sev. Today's episode is going to be on single life versus married life. So I have some special guests here today. I've got two singles, two married. Um, and yeah, yeah, we're going to hear their views really on the pros, if there is any cons. Um, and for them to kind of verse each other as well. Yeah if there's any kind of contrasting um, views. Mm. So I have P, Don, Monique, and Javan. Hey, I was gonna say, I'm not single. You know, my girl get mad at me. I'm not single. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, you're actually technically single yeah, until yeah. you're married. Mm. But basically, I'm just saying it. That is hurting, I never said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Let's start with the singles. What's the pros? What do you feel like is the pros of being single? Single with relationship. Uh, it's like this year, it's like this um, carrying, it's like, I look at it like going far on a mission with a heavy backpack on. And when you're single, you've got no backpack on. So I can just do my thing. I can just move more freely and make decisions based upon what I want to do. Nothing else. Because when you've got a wish, you've got to consider, oh, how is she going to feel about this? How is she going to feel about that? Can she do this? Can she... Do you understand? There's more to consider, whereas to really, really live your unapologetic truth, can you live your unapologetic truth not being single? That's the question. Okay, mm. Monique. I don't like being single. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, I don't like being single. So for me, the benefits or the pros? Let's say the benefits, obviously, <coughs> relationship so single relationship you've got relationship but you're not obviously married yet yeah but let's just say i'm single for example mm -hmm. um yeah you get the freedom but i feel like in a relationship you should have freedom anyway um but i get what you mean in terms of not even having to think about someone else you have to consider their feelings so all of that consideration um yeah you don't have to uh consult with someone if you want to mm. just go on holiday just up and go <laughs> um when you're spending your money it's just all on yourself uh i don't like being single <laughs> no, I like, you made a good point she said that you know you should feel single too baby you hear that I should, feel, I should still feel single. Free Javan for me. I know, but when I you're like in a that. relationship, you still should, you should feel free. I like. Free. Tell her, yeah. tell her, tell her. I don't free. I don't feel free. Mm. I feel like I'm. No, I think me. you are putting your mindset that way because you are still a free man when you're in a relationship. You can do whatever you want. Just yeah. be respectful. You know. So it's like you're saying something I'm doing. Why can't be something that she's doing? Because you're the one complaining. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys have to say on that? Like, on the pros of being single, would you say, obviously, you're both, you know, mm. coming from married backgrounds. Mm. Do you agree with the pros of being single or do you think it's not actually that important? What I'll say is this, is that... Um, you know, I think when you look at marriage, you have to look at it 360 in the sense that, you know, marriage is about, for me, it's a, it's a coming together of two people with a shared purpose. Yeah. So it's, it's not about individualism. Yeah. You're an individual within a relationship together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's almost like a marriage to me is, you know, the whole is greater than the sum of the two parts. That's ideally. Yeah. Now, obviously we're talking about a healthy marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so if we don't have two people working together, then marriage could be the worst thing, could be best being single, mm. yeah? Mm. So that's, so assuming that you have two people who want to be together, live together, want to build together. To me, the benefit of a marriage is where you have two people working towards one goal. I think that's very purposeful. Um, you, you have more of a strategic outlook because in marriage, you tend to have a framework where you can support your children, your offspring better when you're collectively working together because two sometimes is better than the one, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, certainly, it's proven statistically that children that are born in the marriage situation out of wedlock, they tend to do better in life, 
in life. That's a statistical, you know, um, that's what they suggest statistically. So, because marriage is also where statistically where children tend to progress better under a marriage scenario than as a single parent. That's, that's a, the stats would bear that out. Certainly, unfortunately, in the penal system, men of young men and women, they are from single parent households in that sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But being single in itself, um, you do have that freedom. You have you, you can do what you want, but because you've got options and freedom to do what you want doesn't mean you it's the best thing for you. You know, um, you don't have that somebody looking out for you. Um, you know, supporting you when you might not be doing the right things. You might need somebody to give you mm -hmm. a different direction. Um, being free to make mistakes is not always a great thing either. Somebody, you might want somebody who cares for you to rein you in and say, have you, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Is it why to spend your money on this sure. and that? You know, just to give you some guidance as well. So not everybody's mm -hmm. completely, you know, comfortable on their own. And the other thing as well, you know, no man's alone island, you know? We live in a community and I think you know, community living is healthier than single living, generally. Are we, are we talking yeah. about children or adults? You said about well, needing guidance and needing to not I, be free. I well, wanted it. Yeah, what I'm saying is that, you know, you know, as adults, we have different emotional development. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you, if you're with somebody that cares for you, they might have different skill sets, yeah, mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. you have. For example, you might be with a woman that's better managing finances. So you might want to go holiday every two, three weeks, you know what I mean? But she might be able to say, well, you know, financially we can't afford this we, we're going to invest for our future you know have a different outlook in life and sometimes in marriage you get that you'll get one person that may be more strategically thinking than the other and that's that's quite important as well because when you're single you might not if you're not strategically that minded you'll live for today and you may not plan it forward why if you're in a marriage situation there is always somebody who wants a long-term view to think you know what we need to go you know, buy a property, we need to have somewhere where we're going to raise children. They tend, someone's always thinking long term, not, which is always a benefit as well. Can you not also have someone that's actually like bringing you down then? Imagine if I'm positive by myself and then this woman, she's negative and she's quite depressed and bringing my energy down. So or how about I'm doing things by myself, cool, and then with you in the equation, you, 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 Taking from me, or you doing something? Do you understand? Yeah, but he was coming yeah. from a healthy. Yeah, yeah. You okay, know, only from that. Yeah, okay. yeah. You see, brother. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. You want to stay in that top yeah, that's it. Like yeah, yeah, not. yeah. I'm assuming that you got two compatible people okay. who want to be together okay. or in healthy, healthy marriage situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, I was gonna say because when I was listening to you two, I thought to myself, marriage is actually the highest form of freedom, the highest. Okay, when I was in a relationship, let's say single, sometimes I'll be like, no, I'm not going to do this, or I want to do this, and I don't have no regard for the other person, because I just want to be me, I just want to do what I want. But since being married is a higher level of freedom, I want you to do these things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. I want you to go the places that you want to go, and I'm more submissive, I want to... Mm -hmm. I want to make you happy. And if that means you want to go out with your friends, obviously I'm hoping now when you reach marriage, you're mature enough, okay? Because marriage is it's not for everybody, okay? It's you only enter marriage when you're ready, okay? So when you're ready, you're ready to give everything. So it's the highest form of freedom. Like, I love that. I'm free, he's free, but that doesn't mean free, I can do anything. Mm. I'm not expecting you to... Be married and want to go and course, cheat respect. and want to go and yeah. spend money with no regard. Mm. Mm. No, you're at that level that, mm. yes, you can do anything, go anywhere. It's the highest mm. form of freedom, I, I think. I, I have to agree with that. That was good. Yeah. That I have to agree. That's yeah. the first one. It yeah. sounds compelling. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, she made it sound good. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's true. all about the individual's mindset, yeah. Yeah. how you look at things. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I like excellent answer. Yeah. yeah. So have they convinced you that marriage is better than the single no, life? No. For me, it's always has been. So. Mm. Why no, are you saying no, that? No, no, not that it's better. I'm not going to lie. Not, just, she made it sound good. Well. You made it sound good. <laughs> I'm good by myself, so I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's but different. Let's say I'm okay. you wanted to buy a house. The yeah. problem is, yeah, my, my problem is my mum done a really good job and I'm, I feel free. I feel powerful. I have mm. my self-love's on point. My aptitude, my ability to win in life is great by myself. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're going to come to me, you got to make it, but you got to make all that better. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying that I'm already cool. So mm -hmm. I don't have that 
I'm not saying everyone that gets married has a need, but it comes down to when people get married, they kind of maybe search for something extra, or maybe the religious belief they want something to add to what they've already got. I, I think self love is really important, mm -hmm. but real self love is how you love others. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, absolutely. When you transition to that, it's about being able to give. Yeah. Okay, so yes, you can love yourself. And loving yourself sometimes can be selfish. It suits you. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to give up those needs. You don't want to give up that. Yeah. But when you're able to love others through loving yourself, mm -hmm. I, for me, that's what marriage is. Definitely. So yes, I love myself, but that doesn't mean I can't love someone else even mm -hmm. more. And that's like, oh, you know, people think, oh, I'm submissive. Uh, or being submissive is bad. Actually, it's not. It's mm -hmm. a form cool. of loving cool. others. So I think mm -hmm. when you get there, mm -hmm. I think she, I think she's bang on. Yeah. I think it's kind of what I call the art of compromise. That's yeah. what you, you learn the yes. art of compromise. Yeah, and when you learn the art of compromise, what happens? You actually grow more together. Yes, yeah. So absolutely. everything doubles up. Mm -hmm. So your effort double up. So yeah, they said you know if we're still collaboratively together whatever what efforts you put together it doubles up and you mm -hmm. make success together a lot faster mm -hmm. a lot quicker in all yeah, areas yes. of life yeah, you yes. know yeah with yeah. the right person yeah with the, with right, the right person, person. we're with assuming right we've person. got the right person yes, yeah? Yeah, yeah but with the right person those efforts get quadrupled and double very quickly yes. so in five yeah. six years you can make so many strides you know and it's not by accident where you got these power couples the beckons or mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you know what i mean where they come together as a brand i'm not saying that's ideally what marriage is mm. all about but they come together the yes. brand to build something together and yeah, push it forward right. and it moves it forward. That's, what, that's what i'm not going to just say the women that's what these people people are on they're like they're like you work for me we can actually build like i think that you're good for what i'm building mm. and that's what okay, yeah they, but don't get me wrong i mean that's more of a business kind of approach mm. but the, the essence is collaboration mm. at some point mm -hmm. compromise where we can help each other mm -hmm. you know generally move forward I do you know what i'm saying yeah. obviously they're you. doing it from a fame and, and you know, business want, yeah. point of view yeah. but we can do from a loving point of view as well mm -hmm. that we work compatible it might be a case where a woman might not want to just want to work every hour god said you know and yeah. the father might say you know the man might say you know what it's cool you know you're my wife you look after the truth. I know that value. I respect your value in that. I'll go out and earn. And that, he may create, that's the balance. That's the piece. You know mm. what I mean? It doesn't mean that because you're married that both people have to be working at yeah. the same time. Mm. You can kind of, um, you know, you can yeah. switch accordingly. And I think that's the beauty of today's relationships. Mm. I think our mums, our nans, they had one role, that's which right. is to be the wife, that's to right. look after the children, to yes. look after the men. Yeah. Now, when our relationship is not like that these days, you know, you can... You know, we have community. You, not just your husband, is there to fulfill the role. Mm -hmm. You can reach out to friends. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go out, colleagues. That is a community. And mm -hmm. so, no. So, if you're in a relationship just to please one person, or that person's going to please you, it's going to be your everything. Mm -hmm. No. But I think there's a group of, you know, people around you to make who you are. Mm -hmm. And if you are in the right marriage, Everyone can be part of, you know, of what of what your union. You can't do it just you and your husband. No, no. Yeah. It's a village. That's why you need that freedom. Yeah, it's a village, really. Yes. You know, when you're in a marriage, you have a village. You have to take yeah. on the other person's family, don't you? They yeah. come. You all come as one, isn't it? Yes, so you have extension right. village. Yes. It takes yeah. a village to raise a child. So that's that's, that's right. where we're coming from as yes. well, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. I hate you still. <laughs> I know. I hate you still. Yeah. I hate you still. It's just like yeah. So you got a, yeah a lot of criteria. So she's got her. She's got her family. That you want more time. Her mm -hmm. mom and dad. You got to want her dynamic. Absolutely. Yeah. I exactly. like my dynamic still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah. But I can see why. I can see why they might want my dynamic or want our that whatever they want to get married and maybe I should do it for them. Do you believe in that? Maybe the man doing it because that's what the woman wants. Not necessarily. Is both parties understanding the value which each can bring coming together yeah. and you, you bring your families together you build that village that helps support the both of you yeah, you know what i mean so you, you have that village and then when you have children the village raises a child and that's mm -hmm. when the cultures and traditions come together to support mm -hmm. so even when the mother's going out to work she's got two sets of mothers she's got yeah. the, the the husband's mother and her own mother you know what i mean you've got two yeah. sets everything doubles yeah. up you've got you, you got to get married to have that no, no, I'm not saying you have okay. to get married, but mm -hmm. I think 
you know, I think having that kind of structure together, it, yeah. it pulls people together. Yeah. Naturally, when you feel you're part of a village, you all want to play a part, and then grandparents come involved as well um, in a traditional yeah. family, you know, format. So, mm -hmm. it, if it's the right people, don't get me wrong, yeah. we're assuming that the right yes. people together, yeah. um, you the know, is, marriage is, is, is second to none, really, in terms yeah. of statistically as well. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, because there is so much views obviously there's so many divorces happening yeah. at the moment mm. there's so much views that it's better to be single than it is to be married these days i'm not yes. you know I'm not talking about maybe back in the days mm. um so it's so interesting to hear like you guys points mm. of view mm. you guys points of view um and actually so even though like say for example javan you know you love the freedom you love the autonomy about you know being a sing you know being single but, and then it's crazy because P has mm. said, but actually the highest freedom is through mm. marriage. Yep. That was That's very powerful yeah, yeah, because yeah. actually they're both two powerful oh. places to be in. Mm -hmm. The highest freedom for a woman is being married, maybe. Because if you look at the look at the, the, the paracre, paracre, what's it, that word? Look at the old school, women kind of had to get married to be able to do certain things. So married, mm -hmm. tradition of marriage come from be you not not being able to do certain things without mm -hmm. being married. Mm -hmm. So being married, I guess, because for you, for a woman maybe the, a lot of the strength and protection comes from the man. So then she can mm -hmm. then she can be who she wants and do what she wants because she's got the rock, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think I think maybe it's, I, I agree I agree with yeah, what you said. Yeah, but I think maybe yeah. it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. What's freedom for you? Mm -hmm. If you can define freedom from a man perspective, mm -hmm. freedom is going after my dreams, mm -hmm. going after what I want to do, what I think I should do, what's aligned with my values mm -hmm. and what fulfills me. If I wanted to go and do something for my grandma and give her six months of my life, I can go and do, give it to her if I want. Mm -hmm. If you're married, you've got to say to your wife, hey, wife, can I go and give six months of my life to my grandma? Is that all right? Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you, how do you feel about that? And that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I want to do it, I can, well, this, as a man, I think I want to go and do that. Mm -hmm. I can go and do that. So, for a wife, she's got to mm -hmm. be okay with what I want to go and do. Really so it's about me. balance. Really, mm. what you're saying is, I, I want to be able to do what I want, and sometimes having a partner creates that balance. And yeah, you potentially you're like, mm, I'm not sure about the balance. You want to do what comes, what's in your head. You just want to do it. Okay, I want to give my nan, let's say, yeah. hundred grand, but family, someone yeah. next to you can actually say, well maybe at this moment right now we don't have a hundred grand or if you give a hundred grand they just cre they're just making you think stop to think is this the right time but you're saying no i just want to give to my nan yeah. but is that the right my way nan's to not do her things? Nan. so maybe she's like she doesn't want me to because it benefits her but yeah. i'm like well this is what i want maybe god's told me or i feel compelled yeah. to do and the feeling of not being able to do that or maybe can't do the mm -hmm. thing that I think as a man mm -hmm. I should do whether for my family, for my values, that doesn't doesn't appeal to me. Like then I'm being limited for Can what I, just I think. Say, I, I think like, that's mature. Mm, yeah, I was gonna come yeah. from that angle. I feel like when you're mature enough you will have a different understanding um when it comes to being in a relationship and being single. Um I feel like when I say men, I should actually say men and women. I feel like people, as an individual, if you have like a selfish mentality, don't think marriage is for you because um, you just see things differently. But I'm not saying you're selfish. I'm just no, saying like generally but like. Um, so the example you gave of your grandma, I, I totally get that. But I feel like if that was a, a real life situation, let's say your your girlfriend that you have at the moment, if you had sat down had a conversation. I, I feel like they will come to an agreement where you can both compromise. I don't feel like that would be an issue. It shouldn't be something or a reason to stop you from marriage or... You'd be surprised. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying, when be. you have the right person, like, to mm. have that communication with your partner to say, like, this is where I'm coming from, this is how much my grand means to me, and this is why I want to give yeah. my six months to her or whatever. Mm. I don't think your partner would have any kind of, like, resentment for that. You know, if you want to... Let's say, for example, end the relationship and come back in six months, you could do that. You There will be so many options that you can put on the table where I feel like she'll probably be understanding. It's not like, I feel like in your head, you're probably thinking, no, um, it's either black or white. But you need to understand that it's up to you to ha have that communication with your partner. I think I gave that example because my nan or granddad or whatever had a limited time. Yeah. Limited time, right? And so I think that's understandable I think that if you, partner. if... 
if someone can stop you doing that, then that's regrets. You're gonna think, well, I didn't go and spend. I don't think she would. I don't think any. I don't think a human being would do that. That's the thing. That's, that's no, what I'm saying. Really? Think, no. no. It, like you just said, your grind's got a limited time, right? Some people can be very in as well. I think that's the thing. Mm. I think people underestimate how soft people can be, how much people, men and women, can mm. both be manipulated to not live their, not to live their dream, not to, not to live your own life. I'm not saying, I'm not, marriage is not bad. I don't think it's bad. I'm mm. just saying like, that element of, Controller, like you got as like you said, healthy. You choose the right, be right. Choose the right person. They would never mm. do that. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the key is in choice. Is what I've learned today, yeah. the key is in choice. What yes. you choose. Yeah. 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 I think the key is healthy. Yeah, mm. because you have to understand, like your nan, right? You know, if you have a wife, that, you know, that's with you and loves you, she'll see your nan as her nan as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. That's how it is. You know exactly. what I mean? So you double up. You know, I don't yes. know your but me, exactly. you, you double up. So mm. if it's healthy, isn't it? Yeah. You've yeah. got two sets of mums, two sets of dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So then that village becomes stronger, yes, more supportive. Exactly. Your yeah. children now are growing more because they're learning more yes. within that environment as well. Yeah. So that's where we're coming from. It isn't just about the individuals. It's, mm. it's what comes with it, you know, as well. You know, um, so okay, so um, just quickly, just going round. If you was, you know, if you had the choice to be single or married, what would you choose? Married. For me, I think ideal. The marriage is the ideal with the right person. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I think there's a time and place to be single and married. It okay. depends on the individual. I like mm. um, I'll second that as well. Mm. Actually, even though I haven't got involved in this, but I'll second <laughs> that. I haven't been married. <laughs> Um, not yet, but I would say, yeah, exactly that. There's a time and place to be single and there's a time and place to be married. Yeah. Monique? The age that I'm now, I'm ready for that. Yeah. Yeah, marriage. Mm-hmm. I say married to the right person, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. of course. You mm-hmm. made him a believer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. so <laughs> thank you guys for um, watching the show. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and thank you guys for coming.